This isn't just another tech upgrade. This is the next revolution, one that could rewrite the laws of progress itself. Imagine a computer not limited by zeros and ones, but one that taps into the quantum nature of reality. A machine that doesn't just calculate, but explores every possible answer across parallel universes. Dr. Michio Kaku calls it the ultimate computer, capable of changing everything from medicine to the mysteries of space-time. In a world built on digital logic, quantum computing offers something more, power beyond imagination. And it's not science fiction anymore. It's already here, and the race has begun. From analog to digital, the evolution of computing. To understand why quantum computing is such a leap, we need to look back at where we started. Thousands of years ago, humanity's earliest computers weren't machines at all. They were tools made of sticks, stones, and bones. They helped us count cattle, measure land, and track stars. But then came a shipwreck off the coast of Greece. Inside the sunken wreckage, archaeologists discovered something astonishing a bronze device with intricate gears. Known today as the Antikythera mechanism, it was the world's first analog computer, built to predict celestial movements. It simulated the sky, not with electricity, but with engineering. Fast forward to the 1800s. Charles Babbage developed his difference engine, a mechanical marvel full of gears and levers. By cranking the machine, you could calculate interest rates, longitude, and even complex navigation data. Analog had matured. Then came World War II. The mechanical age couldn't keep up with the demands of modern warfare. That's where Alan Turing stepped in. His vision of a machine that operated on logic, ones and zeros, gave birth to the digital computer. It changed everything, from finance to entertainment, from medicine to global communication. Digital computing has become the backbone of our world. But even as our devices became faster and smaller, they remained bound by the rules of binary logic. Every decision was a yes or no. Every action, on or off. This system powered the digital revolution. Now, we stand at the edge of something new. A kind of computer that doesn't choose one path, but explores them all at once. Quantum Leap. How quantum computers work. What if instead of choosing one outcome, a computer could choose all of them simultaneously. This is the heart of quantum computing. Unlike traditional computers that use bits, those familiar zeros and ones, quantum computers use qubits. A qubit isn't just on or off. It can be both at the same time. That's called superposition, and it's one of the strangest yet most powerful ideas in quantum mechanics. To visualize it, physicist Erwin Schrödinger gave us his famous thought experiment, a cat inside a box. Until you open the box, the cat is both alive and dead. Two states, at once. That's superposition. It sounds like a riddle, but it's a core principle of how atoms behave and how quantum computers work. Another idea is entanglement. When two qubits are entangled, their states are instantly connected, no matter how far apart they are. Einstein called it spooky action at a distance, but it's real and it gives quantum computers extraordinary power to process complex information. There's more. Qubits don't just allow more possibilities. They multiply them, add two qubits together, and they can represent four states. Add three, and you get eight. 10 gives you 1,024. With just a few hundred qubits, you're looking at more combinations than atoms in the known universe. Traditional computers can't compete. And here's the mind-bending part. Quantum computers don't just run faster, they think differently. They don't calculate one solution at a time. They explore an entire landscape of solutions in parallel and collapse on the most probable one when observed. It's like reading every book in a library all at once, instead of one at a time. This is why Dr. Michio Kaku calls quantum computing the ultimate computer. It's not just faster, it's not just smaller, it's a different reality. One where atoms are the switches and waves are the code. And we've only begun to understand what it can do. Parallel universes and unmatched power. If superposition and entanglement are the gears, then parallelism is the engine that drives quantum computing. These machines don't just compute faster, they compute across realities. 
When a qubit enters superposition, it doesn't choose a single value. It holds every possible value at once. It's as if the universe branches out, with each branch exploring a different outcome. With enough qubits, quantum computers aren't moving through a sequence of calculations. They're navigating a multiverse of solutions. Michio Kaku puts it simply, quantum computers explore all possible paths at once, then select the right one. This isn't a faster calculator, it's a new form of intelligence. To compare, a powerful digital computer might take hours to solve a massive equation. A quantum computer, by processing countless interactions in parallel, might do it in seconds. And this isn't just theory. In 2019, Google's 54-qubit quantum processor solved a problem in 200 seconds that would have taken a supercomputer 10,000 years. The achievement was dubbed quantum supremacy, proof we'd entered a new era. Today's quantum machines are still fragile, limited, and experimental. But they hint at a future where the impossible becomes routine, from modeling climate systems to revolutionizing drug discovery. Digital computing changed the last century. Quantum computing may redefine the next, and at its core is a mindset that doesn't fear uncertainty. It harnesses it. The global race and technical challenges. With stakes this high, it's no wonder the quantum gold rush has begun. Tech giants like Google, IBM, Microsoft, and Intel are pouring billions into quantum research. China is building entire cities dedicated to quantum innovation. The European Union has launched a billion euro initiative. Even bold startups, backed by venture capital, are entering the race, each one hoping to stake their claim in the next computing revolution. Why the urgency? Because whoever dominates quantum computing could reshape the future of cybersecurity, finance, communications, and even warfare. Current encryption systems rely on math problems that would take digital computers years, if not centuries, to solve. A quantum computer could crack them in seconds. Governments know this. Intelligence agencies like the FBI, CIA, NSA, and their global counterparts are racing to both build and defend against this new power. It's not just about creating faster machines, it's about securing everything we already rely on. But quantum machines are fragile. Their strength depends on something called coherence, when qubits vibrate in perfect harmony. A slight disturbance, heat, noise, even a photon can break that harmony, causing decoherence and destroying calculations. To maintain order, quantum systems must operate at temperatures near absolute zero. Yet nature already solved this. Photosynthesis, a quantum process, works at room temperature. We're not there yet, but with better qubits, longer coherence, and smarter error correction, we're getting close. Quantum computers are no longer a theory. They're becoming the next pillar of global power. Quantum applications, food, energy, and medicine. So what exactly will quantum computers do for us? The short answer, almost everything. Start with food. As the global population rises, the innovations of the Green Revolution are nearing their limits. One of the biggest energy drains in agriculture is fertilizer production. Yet soil bacteria create nitrogen-based fertilizers naturally through complex quantum processes. If we could replicate that through simulation, we could revolutionize farming, making fertilizer cleaner, cheaper, and far more sustainable. Now consider energy. Fusion power, the reaction that fuels the stars, has long been a goal of scientists. But stabilizing plasma at millions of degrees has proven nearly impossible to model. Quantum computers capable of simulating atomic behavior with unmatched precision may finally unlock the secret to stable, limitless fusion energy. And in medicine, the implications are even more profound. Diseases like cancer and Alzheimer's often begin at the molecular level, where proteins misfold and genes mutate. Quantum computers could simulate these microscopic interactions in full detail, potentially leading to early detection, targeted treatments, and even cures we once thought impossible. Michio Kaku sees this as only the beginning. 
From building new materials to decoding weather patterns, quantum computing won't just support innovation, it will drive it. We're not just inventing faster machines, we're creating a new kind of intelligence. The ultimate goal, decoding the universe. For Michio Kaku, quantum computing isn't just a technological leap, it's a path to unlocking the deepest truths of the universe. Albert Einstein spent his final years searching for a theory of everything, a single equation that could unify gravity and quantum mechanics. But the challenge was immense. The math is too dense. Even our fastest supercomputers couldn't unravel it. Quantum computers might. These machines operate by the same strange rules that govern the cosmos. Particles in superposition, entangled across vast distances, behaving with eerie unpredictability. In a sense, they think like the universe itself. That's what gives them the potential to simulate black holes, explore wormholes, model the Big Bang, and even probe the mysteries of time and consciousness. Imagine not just observing space, but decoding its blueprint. That's the vision Kaku shares. A future where quantum computers don't just solve scientific puzzles, they redefine our place in the cosmos. Sure, challenges remain, but every great revolution starts with a radical idea, and this may be the boldest yet. So the real question isn't if quantum computing will reshape our world, it's how soon.